Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're gonna be reviewing Optim Misfits by author Ben Corson. The link to this product is in my video description below. It'll take you right to Amazon where you can do all of your shopping. I had the privilege of hearing Ben Corson speak a few weeks back at church here in Ohio and really liked what he had to say and thought this book would be a good fit for my channel. You guys might not know this, but I love to read and wanna keep building out my book review segment here on Digital David. I read 91 books in 2018. Okay, well, I listened to a majority of those. I love audiobooks while I'm driving and commuting, that sort of thing. So I had listened and read over 91 books last year and love to read. I'm still trying to figure out what you guys want from me in these book review videos, so please leave your comments and questions below. That really helps me out continue to get better book reviews for you all. So if I miss it in this video, just ask me the question and I'll answer it for you and I'll try to apply that in my next book review as well. So thank you in advance for that information. It really helps me get better to provide better reviews for you. So now back to the book. Here it is, really nice cover with a little uh, dust jacket almost as well in the front and back. Love that that folds out. There's a nice picture of the author. I'll link to his stuff in this video as well. They actually have a really cool trailer for this book. And um, that being said, you might be wondering, okay, David, well, what is an optimist fit? Well, first, it's a cross between two words, an optimist and a misfit. And the definition is actually printed for you right on the back, so I'll read that to you. It's a nonconformist, an adventurer, a person who lives with wild abandon, childlike wonder, and unapologetic optimism. That is what an optimist fit is. The book walks you through that with a lot of personal stories, great one-liners, and things for you to take and really think about throughout your life. A lot of practical applications in here as well. Let's go ahead. Let's look at the chapter contents. First thing to show you, we have 50 chapters spread out over 200 and roughly 30 seven pages, so it's really a quick read. The chapters are only a couple of pages long, and they're really fun, really easy to read, really just a quick, simple read as well with really fun names. My favorite chapter title, there's two. I like chapter nine, it's called Hope is Dope, and I like chapter 43, it's called As Humble as Kanye. <laughs> so those ones were cracking me up, I thought those were some great titles. Just for fun, I'm gonna actually read you two whole chapters in this review. All right, guys, I'm going to read chapter 35 to you. It's called What I Like About Religion. Not much. There you go. Just read the whole chapter to you. How many books have you come across that have one sentence devoted to the whole chapter? Now let's go ahead and read chapter 36. What I don't like about religion. Pretty much everything. Bam. There it is. Two chapters, two sentences. Really powerful, really creative. What he's saying here and what he's trying to express is that he doesn't care for religion. And I can totally agree with that. Religion's not about us earning salvation, doing good works. It's about none of that. It's nothing to do with what we can do. It misses the whole point completely. It's about what God through Jesus Christ did for us. So I love how he has both of those chapters in here. I feel pretty passionately about religion as well. I've seen too many people miss the point because they're stuck in a religion and not a relationship. Ooh. It's not about your religion, it's about your relationship with God. That is what ultimately matters, nothing else. So I thought that was great. Didn't mean to get preachy on you, a little fired up about that, but love how this book really brings that point home with those two chapters. Now we'll move on. I'm going to read a page or so to give you kind of a sample of his words and writing. So we're going to read chapter 44 really quick, just two pages of it. Chapter 44 is titled The Anti-Suicide Squad. This chapter really stood out to me because in my community here, the high school I went to just recently had two students within a couple of weeks of each other choose to both end their lives. And it's really heartbreaking and sad. So hopefully this could be a message of hope for you or to somebody else that needs to read this book or contact a loved one to let them know that life's too precious to be wasted and that you're not, as the book says, goo on a cosmic shoe, that you matter, that you have value, and we are all here to care for you and bear each other's burdens. So here's how it starts. It says, I get a lot of texts and messages and emails from people who tell me that they really just want to die. Some of them are cutters. Some of them are overcome by guilt. Some of them feel like they have no value to anybody. They are just goo on a cosmic shoe. And when people feel this, they don't feel like they have the energy to go on. I'm not going to tell you that life isn't hard sometimes, but I am going to tell you that God has a special place in his heart for those who feel broken, to whom life has dealt a bad hand, 
or who are struggling just to keep their head above the water. He cares about the hurting heart. Psalm 56 tells us that God collects all your tears in a bottle. That is how much your pain matters to him. In the Old Testament times, women would often collect their tears and keep them in special tear bottles. Whether the tears were happy or sad, they were deemed too precious to be wasted. The tears spoke of a woman's time of deepest sadness and her most extraordinary gladness, of uncontrolled giddy glee in the most heart-rendering grief. Then when the day came, she would give this bottle of tears to the man she married. How terribly romantic. Might want to keep that in mind for Valentine's Day, huh? <laughs> I know one great Bible scholar, in quotes, who just happens to be um, my dad, who suggests that in the story of the Gospels, where the prostitute washed Jesus' feet with her tears and then dried them with her hair, that she probably did this by emptying her tear bottle in the act of tender devotion. She was, in a sense, declaring herself a bride of Christ. Beautiful thought, isn't it? Tears are often more eloquent than words will ever be. Tears can be the most powerful of prayers. Your tears matter to God because you matter to God. He knows the brokenness in your heart. None of your pain has gone unnoticed. The Bible contains about 900 references to the heart. And when the heart speaks, it isn't just referencing to the tough little muscle that pumps your blood. It speaks of the sum and seat and center of who you are, the nexus of your emotional existence. In the idea of the broken heart, it can be traced all the way back to the ancient Hebrew literature. In fact, the Bible invented the phrase, a broken heart. God wants to heal your broken heart, and at the same time, he wants to use your brokenness to heal others. The scars you share with others can become lighthouses to warn those headed towards the same rocks that nearly shipwrecked you. Well, hopefully that gives you a little sample of his style in writing. This book obviously has a lot of spiritual overtones and undertones in it. It tackles heavy subjects in a lighthearted, happy, hopeful way. Ben gives you hope to know that there's other people in the world that have suffered what you're suffering, maybe even suffered worse than what you're suffering, and choose to live life with abandon, to live life, hopefully to be an optimist, to be positive, and to continue to spread hope, joy, love, peace to everyone else and they just want to pay it forward and make sure that we don't repeat maybe some of the same mistakes that they have made in their life. So it's really a wonderful book. The link to this is below. You can check it out for more information. You can ask me questions, comments, or concerns. I'd be happy to answer them for you, point you in the right direction. You can check out Ben's stuff as well. I'll have some links in this video and below for you. Be sure to check out that channel trailer they made. It's really sweet as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. I want you guys to be around for a long time. I got a lot of great products to unbox and review for you guys this year. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Check out all my social media accounts. You can message me on WeChat. You can check out my website and you can join my newsletter. Thank you so much and I will see you in